as we promised, we're going to continue with the NASA Space Ops Cairo Challenge, and we are going to have two of uh, another team, and uh, we are going to know the details about their participation, about their story with the challenge, and about uh, the idea itself, how it came to their minds, and how to be a part of a team. And by the way, before going into this, I should say that volunteering is very important, and it's now becoming a culture in our society. You can find many thousands, or to be accurate, hundreds of thousands of volunteers from our youth doing a great job and representing Egypt in the best way ever in all domains, in all fields. First, uh, let me welcome my dear guests, Kamel and Romaisa. Thank you very much for being with us. And before we go into details, um, I'd like to ask for about the idea itself and about the very first steps you had in this experience. Kamil? Okay. My name is Kamil Mohammed uh, from team Discover Discover. Mm. Uh, we, ha we are a team of four members, me and Rumaysa. And we have another two members, Yusuf Shaban and Yusuf, Ad Yusuf Qadri. Okay. Uh, our challenge was about AI field, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, we have a challenge uh, which is called uh, this, uh, discover uh, or we have a satellite called discover uh, our challenge is to solve the, uh, the, 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 the satellite data mm. actually the, the discover satellite is out of service so its data is very has very artifacts and a lot of problems mm -hmm. so our problem is to uh, first of all is to solve the data itself and then use the data to, to predict something called solar storms mm. solar storm basically uh, caused many magnetic fields uh, around the Earth, which is very bad and uh, has many distortions around the Earth and others. Mm -hmm. So our problem is to predict the storm before before one day or two days mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to uh, shut to uh, to, sh to shut down some devices uh, to to prevent the artifacts and others. Yeah, moving to Romaisa. Romaisa. Um Tell me about the idea itself, uh, how the idea itself came to you to share such an experience and to be involved into uh, the uh, NASA Cairo App Challenge. Okay, uh, the idea came that they were announced some challenges mm -hmm. and we, our uh, rule is to solve that challenge. Mm -hmm. Actually, they asked us in its a challenge, we solve the satellite data problems and protect the solar storm purity. So the, simply the idea was the to solve the data, the problem of data is that the data is not correct. Or myself, what are you studying? Uh, biomedical and system engineering uh, in Cairo. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the satellite data, uh, we want to solve the problem. We're using AI models, we uh, get use of another satellite uh, data. Mm -hmm. It measures the actual the same data. Mm -hmm. We uh, like merge the two data together to uh, correct the data they asked us to correct and protect the solar system. I mean, before going into these details, were you acquainted with what AI is and um, to know more about space experience and stuff like that, or you discovered everything when you were involved into the experience? Uh, for the field of AI, we just we know about the AI in our fleet mm -hmm. yes, and some uh, some volunteering experience mm -hmm. about the challenge and the space. No, it's all from the NASA Space Apps Cairo. We uh, we read about the challenges and uh, prepared us during the search uh, to solve this problem. Yeah, Kamel, what was your feeling when you know that you are going to travel to the States and to uh, continue with your experience there? Actually, <laughs> I was very excited, uh, but. Uh, I am I'm, I'm trying to my best to to prepare myself because we have an, a lot of papers and uh, a lot of uh, papers related to the, our visa to the USA. So we were preparing a lot of papers. Stuff. And yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, we finished our day, uh, our our papers uh, before one uh, one day before the, our travel. Oh. Actually, so uh, <laughs> if we are were late for one day. Uh, I guess uh, our travel uh, won't happen. Uh, it will be cancelled. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so I was very excited. Uh, I was reading about uh, like uh, NASA Space, uh, NASA Space uh, App Center, NASA Headquarters, and other stuff that we will visit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it was very. Uh, I was very excited because uh, all of that I didn't hear about it before. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and what about uh, there? Was it the same? Yeah, I was nervous and excited at the same time, and it's a new place and a new uh, a new culture we will be introduced to. 
but uh, US Embassy have offered this uh, fully funded, so we were so excited. Yeah, we will uh, be introduced. No, I mean, touch. both of you read about uh, NASA before going to with the States. Yeah. Um, what you have seen there was uh, typically what you have read about, or you discovered that the case is totally different when you see it yourself. No, no, it's, uh, it's the same, but uh, there they were something better. We, mm. see, we met people from, uh, Ar uh, from Arabs. Arab uh, engineers working there, so it was uh, different. We didn't expect that we will meet all Arabs in uh, working in NASA there. Yeah. Kamel, uh, when it comes to an experience like that, I think you learned a lot, and you felt that there are changes you are even witnessing in yourself. What are the skills you've already acquired, and how you are benefiting from these skills, whether in your studies or in your future career after that? Okay, uh, I guess regarding the the, the travel experience itself. Uh, I, 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 I tried new experience like traveling and uh, exploring many many uh, many new places and uh, many places related to NASA. But actually, we had uh, a camp in uh, something called Johnson Space Center, in, uh, which is the biggest one in the United States related to NASA. Uh, we have three day three days of camp. Uh, we learned a lot of from NASA engineers because uh, they were very uh, clever to choose uh, the engineers because they chose all Arabs. So we know that it's easy to, to reach this place. It's not it's not that difficult uh, because I was thinking about like uh, NASA. How can I reach this? And um, but they tell they told they told us that no, it's it's, it's not as, as such easy problem, but it's not that difficult also. So it was re uh, very clear. But the topic itself is different. It's difficult. Satellite, it's space, it's NASA. I mean, the topics you are talking about, it's not that easy. And it needs specialists. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, NASA, not about the astronauts only. We have a lot of engineers, a lot of software engineers, a lot of biomedical engineers, because I'm, I'm a biomedical engineer. So we met a biomedical engineer actually there. So it's not about the, the NASA and the space. It's about many other fields that... And this that is going to be my coming question yeah. to you or myself. How this experience uh, benefited you on the academic level? I mean, I think before joining the experience, uh, you had a state of mind and looking at things in a way and now this way is different true yeah yeah that's true uh, before uh, i come to this uh, journey i thought that uh, nasa it's uh, not hiring biomedical engineers not hiring uh, egyptian no actually when we traveled we saw that no there is a biomedical engineer software engineers that we can join them and also they are egyptian working there and uh, also one of them graduated from university here, so it's not uh, that complicated. I was excluded the idea that I may work there. Mm -hmm. Now, no, it's not uh, impossible to work there. Yeah. Camel working in team, um, it's an easy job for some and a difficult job for others. And you are four in the team, true? Yeah, exactly. um, you have chosen each other, or it came like that, and how you maintain this harmony among the four to make sure that you are going to end with fruitful results? Okay, actually, uh, our uh, department in uh, factory of engineering at Cairo University uh, offer a lot of projects uh, according to the four, uh, the four uh, years, okay? So we worked uh, in our team, I guess, for three years, actually. So it, was, it wasn't the first time, actually. Mm -hmm. We worked a lot, of, uh, a, lot of each, uh, a lot before with each other, okay? So, yeah, in the, first, uh, year, in the first year and second year, we have a lot of problems together. But after a lot of time, we so we tr we solve these problems. So, uh, actually, this is one uh, one reason of our way uh, of our, of our winning to the uh, of that challenge because we know each other very mm -hmm. very well. We know I know that Romesa has uh, skills in specific place, so she, she should uh, work in this place only, and we should collaborate uh, with each other in, a, in in a specific way. So we know each other very well. Mm. Yeah. Meaning you are all the pieces of one puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm proud to have you here. And of course, congratulations. And I wish that, inshallah, I'm going to see all of you in more episodes of our program and on the NAL TV international screen to share you more successes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kamil Romaisa, I was very much proud. I, were, I am very much proud. And I had the, priv the privilege to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right after the short break, I'm going to be back with more. So stay tuned.